Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Kelly's Plant-Based Guide to Eating Out, where I take a look at popular restaurants and we take a look and see what we can eat as a plant-based eater. Today, we're going to be looking at a restaurant that was actually requested from my first video. So if you guys have requests, drop them in the comments or shoot me a message or, you know, email me, whatever you need to do, get a hold of me because I will definitely go over the restaurants that you want me to review for you. So today's restaurant is going to be Applebee's. We are gonna take a look at Applebee's and see what we can order from a plant-based perspective. Now, what am I looking for on the menu? What am I gonna order on the menu from as a healthy, holistic nutritionist? I'm looking for food that is plant-based and AKA vegan in this instance. We are not gonna be eating any dairy. We're not gonna be eating any animal products. We're gonna keep it gluten-free. We're gonna keep it low to no oil, which no oil is very hard when you eat out, but we try to keep it no to low oil. And then we want to keep it low fat. We don't want to be going out to eat with a huge fat bomb. So let's take a look at Applebee's and see what we can order. Here is Applebee's website. So if we go to their menu, let's take a look. Signature cocktails. Funny story real quick before I get in. The last time I was at Applebee's was probably... It was probably like six years ago or so, maybe longer because time just passes as you get older. But I went to Applebee's with one of my coworkers and we were at an event and we wanted to get a little break. And so we went out and I ordered a Long Island iced tea because I hadn't been into Applebee's a long time and I thought it was appropriate to order a Long Island iced tea at an Applebee's. So it comes back and I take a sip of it and I immediately am just like, no, I can't drink this. Ew, there's soda in it. And I don't drink soda at all, you guys, at all. I haven't drank soda in a long time. And I completely forgot that is how Long Island iced teas are made. So I couldn't drink the drink. I actually had to send it back I was like, sorry, I really can't drink this. It's disgusting. So that was my last experience with an Applebee's. I no longer drink alcohol. Uh, I no longer would do that. But yeah, FYI, Long Island iced ice teas have soda in them. So we will no long, we won't be going to the cocktail menu at all. But let's take a look at the appetizers. So this looks like a lot of gluten and a lot of dairy and a lot of food that we don't eat. So no bone, no wings, none of this chicken, queso, beef, breaded beef. Here's a soup and salad. I wonder if we can see some details about it, if it's got any information about the salad. I think we might have to look, we'll look at the nutrition and allergens, but this might not be right because I feel like that might have some dairy in the soup. And then we can't do a Caesar salad because Caesar salad is always really based with a dairy. So let's go back. All right, so there is nothing on this appetizers menu that we can do. Let's look at the ear... Resist a uh, bowls, irresistible bowls. Okay, so these could work. The only thing with these is you're gonna pay quite a bit of money for not very much stuff. So this one is cheaper. I think it's for the protein that's in it. So let's see. So if we were to do this, we would have to say no chicken. Um, we could do the rice if you really wanted to do rice. You could make sure that the black beans aren't cooked with any sort of chicken stock. Guacamole would be okay. Chimis cherry is typically okay. Tortilla strips, I don't know if we really want to do that. You're going to deal with the oil and crap. And I just, I wouldn't do that. So you would be removing the chicken and you could pretty much keep everything else on there. So this would be okay, but you're just going to pay $15 almost for a bowl of rice and some vegetables. So I don't know if this is what I would go for, but this could work. We'd have to change it a little bit. Yeah, so I think that would just be a little bit pricey for us if we wanted to do that. So let's see if there's something else that we could do that would be more affordable that will give us a lot of nutrition. I don't think we're going to find anything in steaks and ribs, but I just want to see if they have any sort of like fake meat, which we don't eat, but I'm really curious. No, not at all. Curious to see if these chains actually bring in plant-based or vegan options for people. It doesn't say if you can get a vegan. Oh, here we go. Impossible. But I don't see again. I don't really like the, the fake meat. Impossible burger is just made with a lot of crap. So yeah, we stay away from all of those. We're not going to look at any burgers. So no burgers, none of that, none of that. We're going to just say no to chicken, no to pasta. Pasta is not going to work for us unless they have a gluten-free pasta. But again, gluten-free pasta is not really the best. Yeah, they do not have a gluten-free pasta. I forget that seafood not going to work for us. Sandwiches, let's take a look at this. Not really going to work for us at all. Chicken wrap. No, this isn't going to work. None of this. So let's go to salads. This is probably where we're hopefully going to find something. A quesadilla chicken salad. Not really going to work. It's going to be way too much. Strawberry balsamic chicken salad. So there we go. $15. You would get strawberries on there. So here's a house salad. So here's a lot cheaper. So you could get like 
two house salads because then you could save a lot of money because it's only five. So it'd be $10 as opposed to spending maybe 14 or $15 on a salad. And then you could get just all the stuff that's in, doesn't really tell you what's in this, but you would say no croutons. Obviously we don't want the croutons, but you would get everything on here. I would probably do that. I hope they have the dressings in here. I would either bring my own dressing, pick this lemon olive oil vinaigrette dressing, which could be decent, but you want to make sure it doesn't have any gluten in it. Again, they sneak gluten in these dressings. I don't even know. It's crazy. Custom ingredient. So no, no cheese. We don't want cucumbers. Yeah. So we'll, we'll look, we'll take a look at the nutrition and make sure that we can eat that. But yeah, I would do either like lemon squeeze on top of it, maybe with some guacamole, some avocado. They've got to have avocado. So you can get a side of avocado, which might be a little bit more. It doesn't even say you can add that, which is interesting. So yeah, this is a place that I would have to actually physically go in and talk to them and like really customize my menu, I think, instead of ordering online and picking up because this one might be a little bit trickier, but I would probably honestly get two side salads, put them together and eat those. Let's see what else. I don't really like any of these because you're just paying, again, you're paying for the protein. And when we take the protein off, they don't typically take the price down. So that's another thing to really be mindful of. But I would see if they could add, there's slivered almonds in here. See if they could add some of the slivered almonds into your side salad. See if you could get some sort of other things and you could just pay for them extra. That's what I would probably be a pain at Applebee's, I think, a little bit just because it's difficult to eat there for healthy. So let's take a look at the... Two for 20. Yeah, that's not going to work for us. Okay. Let's take a look at the desserts. This stuff doesn't tempt me at all. I was asked a question the other day because they brought in this like huge New York style pizza to work and everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like the best pizza. And people are like, Kelly, aren't you tempted by this? I'm like, no, like not at all. And like, when I see this kind of stuff, I'm not tempted either because this doesn't look good. This looks like stomach aches to me. I would rather have fruit than any of this. And fruit's a lot of sugar as well. And it's just the better kind of sugar for your body. So like none of that is for me. Let's look at the kid menu just for fun. Let's see if they have any healthy things for our children. No, not even a salad. That's crazy. You could do, no, you couldn't do any of this. I wouldn't do any of this for the children. Man, I would try to do this. I would do a side salad for your child as well. Um, so I would be getting three side salads, two for you, one for your child. Uh, let's look at the sides. Maybe they have some sides that we can add on to the salad. Uh, no. Okay, we got some steamed broccoli. Broccoli will bring in some protein. You'll bring in some vitamin K. Not bad. You could take a look at these garlicky green beans and see, let's see if we can see any details on them. There's no details on them really. We'll have to look at the allergen thing last. Side salad, cheesy broccoli we don't do. And yeah, we'll have to look at the soups I don't think are gonna work for us. So yeah, we got this house side salad is calling our name with the broccoli. Pretty much the same meal that we get at a lot of these chains. Okay, and that is going to be all of those. So I do want to take a look at the nutrition allergen information, and that was down here. I think I saw it somewhere. Oh, no, it's like when you actually go into the... Here we go. Okay, so we want to look at... Oh, they have a nutrition calculator. That's really good. I like when restaurants actually give you a nutrition calculator because when you're pre-looking at the restaurant before you go to the restaurant, you can figure out how many calories you're going to be eating. And I highly suggest you never, ever go to a restaurant without looking at the menu before you go. You should always know what is ahead of you. Do you need to eat a little bit before? What is your options going to be? So you're not sitting there like struggling and stressed out about it when everybody else is picking delicious meals and you're just like... I want a side salad, you know, so have it already known what you're going to get and in your head. And if you know that there's not going to be that much food for you like this, there's not that much food for us here. I would eat ahead. I would eat a big smoothie or a big meal before I went to something like this. So I'm not sitting there super hungry while everyone else is just chowing down on food that is not good for their bodies. Okay. Here's a vegan vegetarian guide. I like that. Let's look at this vegetarian and vegan menu guide. Awesome. I love when restaurants do this because they really break it down and make it easy for people. So this is cool. Sauces to avoid, obviously, the queso. Oh, this is cool. It tells you what you can do chicken. Okay, so you could do the chicken tender salad, but no chicken, obviously. You can't do those dressings. Can't do pasta. Yeah, it's what yeah, that's exactly what we were saying. All these salads dressings to avoid. So we just can't do the oriental dressing and we can't do the Caesar dressing, but we can do all of these other dressings, which is pretty cool, which I wouldn't really recommend a lot of these other dressings. I'd probably just go with the olive oil vinaigrette 
even though we keep it low oil, it's probably going to be better than any of these other dressings. I don't know how they make them. I don't know if they make them in house or if they actually have them bottled somewhere. I don't know what they are. Oh, so this was, oh, this was just the vegetarian. This was, oh, never mind. I'm good. I just misspoke a little bit. When we actually look at the menu, there's only two dressings that are actually vegan the Italian dressing and the lemon olive oil vinaigrette. So you could do either of those. I would do Italian, actually sounds decent. I would do that. That's oil based. I don't know if it has gluten in it. So that's the other thing. So no butter on the steamed broccoli. So that's another thing to note. Make sure you say no butter. Just tell people that you're allergic to dairy, like highly allergic to dairy, and then you won't have any sort of cheese or dairy on your plate, hopefully. Yeah, there's not much here you can eat as a vegan, which is interesting. So that, that is all they have on there. I'm going to look at the allergen information because I want to see the gluten really quick. We can't eat gluten. We can't eat eggs. We don't eat fish. We don't eat milk. We can eat peanuts. We can eat sesame. No selfish. I like to avoid soy, but we'll just keep it on because we might not be able to eat anything. Avoid wheat. Avoid, avoid sulfites. And I agree to this. So let's see what we can eat. <laughs> like nothing. Interesting. The wings. Oh, look, I like this. This is cool. This should... So you can actually, oh, cool. You can sort this menu of all the things that have gluten. I just want to look at the salad dressings, actually. That's really what I wanted to look at. Okay, the gluten is the third one in. Salad dressings. So the only salad dressings that have gluten are the Caesar dressing. Also, how salad no dressing contains. Oh, it's because of the croutons. So the you got to make sure you say no croutons and then you won't have any gluten. Um, but all of these dressings are gluten-free. They're not necessarily egg or fish. Oh, that's interesting. There's fish in some of these. Yeah, the, obviously the Caesar has fish in it. The, I wish these came down eggs. There's eggs in these. So they're not necessarily vegan. And also a lot of these are not. That's why okay, sulfites are in that one. So yeah, your fat-free Italian, your lemon vinaigrette, those are going to be your best dressings that you can get there. No soups. It looks like your soups have gluten. They have milk. You're not going to be able to do any of that. The salads, <laughs> I just look for something that's all green, but the chicken, we don't want chicken. Oh, look at all these, the burger substitutes. You can do a lettuce cup fries. We don't really want the oil from the fries. That's just unnecessary. Broccoli. So Applebee's, not the easiest place for us to eat out as a plant-based eater, but we can eat there. We can definitely order the side salad, maybe one, two, or three of the side salad. So we have just a ton of lettuce, get the steamed broccoli, get no croutons on the salad, get no butter on the broccoli, and see if they have a fruit cup. Because I feel like places always have fruit cups. Maybe they might have a fruit cup that's not on the menu. Probably. We'll see. But yeah, Applebee's is not the easiest place to eat out as a plant-based healthy eater, but you can do it. All right, guys, take care. And I will be back for another review soon.